Hi, I'm Dr. Shad Deering, and I'm here to introduce you to the Mobile Obstetric Emergency Simulator, or the MOSE. Because there's no more significant emotional event in a couple's life than the birth of a child, it's imperative that those of us that take care of these women use the best current practices that are available. While it's important to be individually competent, it's not enough because we don't take care of these women in a vacuum and we do everything together as a team. The MOSE system was built to be intuitive so that with just a few clicks you can be running high fidelity and effective simulation very quickly. However, the software also retains the ability so that advanced users can make changes, modifications during the simulations, and come up with even more advanced scenarios. The MOSE system comes with a new Noel birthing simulator as well as a neonatal resuscitation simulator. These have been upgraded and modified based on feedback we've gotten from users as well as OB simulation experts because the goal is to still deliver that high fidelity simulation experience while still making it easy to use and mobile so that it can be put anywhere that it needs to go. The MOSE system comes with an instruction manual as well that has a breakdown of how to do every single simulation as well as flow diagrams to help walk you through it. There's also a video that shows how to set them up and then also giving you an example of the simulation actually being run. Included in the manual is also a didactic that goes over the best evidence-based practice for each one of the OB emergencies covered. One thing that's unique about the MOSE is that it comes with an integrated audience response system for debriefing. This allows the instructor and the entire team to participate in the debrief and to go over teamwork, communication issues, as well as best practices. When you consider that 60% of bad outcomes are the result of a communication failure, then it makes sense why this needs to be such an important part of the simulation training exercise. In addition, there's an integrated video system included in the MOSE, and that allows for its use during the debriefing if desired. The mobility of the MOSE system is also one of its strengths in that it allows you to go and to train where emergencies actually happen. Because it's impossible in a simulation center to recreate all of the variables, everything from the room to where the telephone is to where medications are obtained, you just can't do that in a simulation center. And so by being able to take the training to your actual hospital and do it on your ward, you can look at all of the systems issues that can affect real patients during real emergencies. The MOSE system was developed and refined over the past several years in over 50 hospitals across the world. Currently it's in place in 41 states and 14 different countries and we've been able to take the feedback that we've gotten from users and to build the product that you see today. Even though the literature is compelling and we see our national organizations telling us that it's important to do simulation training for obstetrics, it's really the personal stories and it's the emails and it's the follow-up that I get from people that have used the system that, that make a difference. They're the people that tell me and they'll email me and say, I had an emergency and I remembered what I learned and here's why it went better. And those are the things that make it worth it. It's the individuals, it's the babies, it's the moms, and it's the better outcomes that really make a difference.